Ti sabaga no mu di oba no a eye boko na aba e na oba no boko na aba e na oba no okwari dwan fita kwana snaps e na besin ti boko na aba o se wa be chia ira
We give thanks to Allah for this assembly where I have the new year now together with my sons all present here. It is close to the glory of Allah. Nah. <laughs> Said that 17 years ago, one wouldn't have thought that we could assemble like this. After the unfortunate incidents, President Four charged me and my brothers to find a traditional lasting peace to the to resolve the Dabon crisis. My brothers and I initially had difficulty even bringing brothers to look at sit together with brothers but with perseverance and substitute we were able to bring brothers together to talk the initial suspicions and mistrust was so huge that both sides didn't trust each other to even be forthright with each other. But yet, with our belief in Allah and knowing that we are brothers, we persevered. <coughs> In the process, I lost my two brothers earlier, the Yabunra and the Nairi, and they were replaced by, by their successors. Continue. 
the two who succeeded them also supported me and for us to still continue with the process of finding an amicable solution we all know at times when statements were issued that they was we didn't have confidence in the in the committee but i never reneged because i knew it was coming from my sons and as a father you don't repel your your children you bring them together what we kept on telling them was that as the committee we don't support each other but the truth <coughs> At the same time, we also stress that no political party could influence our decisions. So we caution them that they shouldn't play to the political parties but play to the traditions and customs of Dabon. But Dabon, we told them, can, would survive politics because it's older than politics. And if you want to occupy a namship in Dabon, it, it should be through the customs and traditions of Dabon. So fortunately we found a solution to the problems now we have a new Yana and then we have a new Yuna and then a new Myonlana <laughs> So likewise, most of the funerals have been performed and the Yana has enskinned people to those positions. <laughs> It must be emphasized that the Yana is the supreme leader of Dabon. And no one challenges his authority. Let it be very clear to everybody in Dabon that Diana is the supreme leader of Dabon. Mm -hmm. 
And so he prays pronouncements and he wishes are binding on Dabon people. If there's anything untoward, we are here. If you let us know that we have a way of talking to the Yana to resolve those matters. As this, uh, his spokesman was talking, he spoke about Nanton. I want to assure the Yana that we would discuss this and find an amicable solution to that. Whoever is stalling the instrument of Yana, the Nantona, we would want to invite him to find out what the problem is so that we can resolve that with the Yana. So we would beg of the Yana and the people not to create any confusion. We can still use uh, uh, amicable solutions so that we can find a solution to this. I personally spoke to the new Nantona to stay away from Nantona until such time that we find a solution. So I will ask him, I will plead with him to stay before we find a solution, before he goes there. Also today we thank the Yana for coming to say thank you to us. Uh, we did that because he, Dambon is a brother to me and therefore if there's no peace in Dambon then it means there's no peace in As Asantimai. And so I'm looking forward to also come to Yendi soon. I knew that there was Damba, but it fell on Nanakwesidae, therefore that's why I couldn't come. Uh, we will look at an appropriate time for me to come. So very soon I'll come to Yendi and also stay in the Bewa Palace with him. If you, ask, if you ask me to go to the regional office, I'm not going. I'll stay in the Bewa Palace with him.
So I thank him for coming and I thank my children all for coming and no tell them that Manshia is their home anytime. supported you and your colleagues in the committee to continue your work. Your Majesty, we know all was not rosy in carrying out this task. There were lots of disappointments of which accompanied frustrations because of the entrenched positions both gates exhibited. But with your traditional wisdom and unfailing patience, you were able to persevere and finally get both gates to make sacrifices to arrive at this peaceful deal which culminated in the performance of the funerals of, the, of Naya, now Mamadu Abdullah II, and now and then Yakubo. The performance of these two important royal funerals culminated in the schemement of His Majesty, the Supreme Overlord of the Bank, now Abu Karim II. Your Majesty, we cannot overemphasize our gratitude to you and your colleagues, eminent chiefs, for the gift of peace that you have presented to the people of Dabang, for the unprecedented support from His Excellency Nana Adunamba Akufuadu. After the enskillment of Nana Akufuadu II, you and His Excellency Nana Nana Adu Adunamba continue to offer your support for the performance of all the funerals of the late chiefs of Dabang and the enskillment of new chiefs to these vacant schemes. This process has been largely successful, especially the enskillment of Yuna Mahama, Yuna Abdullah Yakubu, and Myonglana Abdullah Mahama, the regions of Yana Yakubu and Yana Mahamadu. 
your majesty, Haraba, your hard end of dation and the fruits of your 16 years of sacrifice is being threatened by the delayed entry and assumption of duty of the new Nanton Na. Your majesty, the supreme overlord of the bank, his majesty Na Abu Karim II, by the traditional power they said in him, as a Yana and that's the and all the skins, and that he owns all the skins in the bank, and is so authority to skin chiefs in the bank, and skin the then Vuna Mahaman Bawa as a new Nantona Mahama. However, the trial now, Haruna Tia, who was recently in skin as such, upon receiving the news of the enskinment of Nanton Na Mahama on 31st March 2019, proceeded to Nanton and occupied the skin until date against all traditional customs and etiquette. This situation baffled the Supreme of Lord of the Bank, and he set up a committee of four prominent chiefs to take this to tackle this anomaly. They deplored the untraditional and uncustomary and illegal act of the Zosalina Haruna and, and reacted and recommended that he should be removed from Nanton. This report was addressed to the regional minister and copied to your, your Majesty and the President Nana Afu had it for you. And we are yet to see any action taken in this direction. The committee members were Kumbuna, Yuri, Myonglana, Diyalana, Songsonglana, and Tolana. Your Majesty, we will not want to be seen as ungrateful and not deserving all these 16 years of sacrifice. Of sacrifice. So we once again appeal to you and His Excellency Nana Nyonangwa Kufadu to correct this anomaly to bring a lasting peace to the bank, in particular in Ghana as a whole. Your Majesty, this situation causes the Supreme Overlord of the Bank sleepless nights. That is why we decided to mention it here when it's going to be a very solemn and very happy uh, occasion. Your Majesty, only you and His Excellency Nadu Adudampa can correct this anomaly. And we have absolute trust that you will facilitate the assumption of duty of Nanton Na Mahama in Nanton. Your Majesty, I want to mention other groups like Damas and the Bank Forum youth groups in the bank that also work tirelessly in the shadows and occasionally in the forefront to make this new found peace in the bank possible. We salute the Northern Regional Ministers, Honorable Avakar Boniface, Honorable Deborah, Honorable um, Mustafa Ali, and then Honorable Muniru Limuna, and our current indefatigable Honorable Said Salifu, alias you can be sure. Who heavily eyes the cake of the peace and deal? Your Majesty, the traditional alliance between Dabang and Asantiman dates back several centuries and has just been reborn again at a whole new level of cooperation and brotherliness. And the Supreme Overlord of Dabang and his court and Dabang as a whole consider Asantiman as their home where they don't need invitations to come and go. And the same goes to you and the whole of Asantiman. Your Majesty, Without missing word, we say that we and you are one family. And long live Asatiman, long live Dabang, long live Ghana.